everyone. It's Phil here from Ashland Leather. And first off, thank you guys so much for supporting us yesterday with the one-off sale. That seemed to go uh, pretty quickly. So everybody that didn't uh, wasn't able to get something that they wanted, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, I was a little bit late on the video yesterday, but I did send out a newsletter. So if you're interested in these sales and being the first to know, definitely check out in the newsletter. To sign up for the newsletter, just go on our website and you can find at the bottom of the page, you can sign up for the newsletter directly there. I tend to send out one email a week with different deals that are happening. Um, if there's special events, there might be multiple emails, but that's the first place to get all the info. You'll be the first to know there. So first up today, I wanted to show you some of the stuff that we we're shipping out today. And at the end of the video, I just got a new package in yesterday from Grant Stone that I've been dying to open. I wanted to open it yesterday, but I figured I'd save it for another video. Let's go over these items that are shipping out. And we're going to start off with some watch straps. First up here, this is an Apple watch band in natural shell cordovan. I love this natural shell, especially on the denim. Those two colors look really great together. All of our watch straps are currently unavailable on the website because we can't commit to a certain date on them because of our work from home setup that we've got going on with the rest of my team. We've got people set up at home making these different products and just the logistics of getting things cut and sent back and forth. It's, I just am unable to commit to a time. So I don't want to offer anything that I can't deliver on. If you're looking to pick up a watch strap, including the Apple watch bands, you can send me an email to info at ashlandleather.com and I will set you up with it. Right now, we're looking at about four weeks. I'm hesitant to commit to anything, again, because of the logistics with what's going on with work from home. Uh, but we'll definitely do our best to set you up and make it as quickly as possible. So here's another really great watch band. This is an intense blue shell cordovan. And I actually, you might be able to see on my wrist right now, I'm wearing a watch strap. This is actually black reverse shell. And what I like about our watch bands is that they're unlined. And it makes for the most comfortable strap you'll find, especially on any vegetable tan leather, which the shell cordovan is veg tan. That causes the leather to mold and age and wrap nicely around your wrist. It actually has a little bit of a polishing effect just with the friction from wearing it and the moisture that your body lets off. It just makes the strap even more comfortable, especially because it's an online piece of veg. This intense blue is a really great color. I have another really neat watch band here. This is dark green shell cordovan one of those more rare shell colors. And that's a great shade. It's sort of like a darker forest green with like little bits of yellowy blue undertones. And I had several two piece watch straps that we make in different widths, different lug widths. This one is a 20 millimeter lug width. We also do 18 millimeter, 22 millimeter and 24 millimeter. And we do those in two different lengths. This is our regular length. And the, the lengths are just two different sizes here. This is 120 millimeters by 80 millimeters. And the short length that we have is 105 millimeters by 70 millimeters. So if you have a little bit more of a narrow wrist, uh, I suggest the short widths or the short lengths. Here's another watch strap. This is an intense blue shell cordovan as well. This one looks to be 22 millimeters in the lug width in the regular length. This is a great looking intense blue shell cordovan strap. It's sort of a dark navy with a little bit of like an aqua undertone, it sort of blends into these denim maybe too much. What I like about our intense blue straps, along with a couple of other colors, is we spend a little bit of extra effort to finish in the edges. So these have been stained, hand stained with a blue dye, and then we wax and burnish all of the edges. So you get this really cool blue edge look to complement the intense blue on the, the surface of the shell. And here's another watch band. This one looks to be in the shorter length, the 105 by 70 millimeters. And this looks to be, I think this is a 22 millimeter. And this one is a natural show cordovan, online strap, super comfortable, great color. This ages very well. It's It will start to look a little bit darker, sort of like the reverse strap I have on now, uh, but less green, obviously. It definitely gets darker, more golden brown, the more you use these, the more moisture, the lighter colors uh, soak up the darker they become. They also will develop a nice little sheen just by wearing them, a little bit of a better luster on the surface. The last watch strap I wanted to show you is the classic color number eight shell cordovan. This is a 22 millimeter, I believe as well, in that classic shell color, super nice. If you're looking to get a strap, please don't hesitate to send us an email. You're not annoying us by emailing us. They're not available on the website, but we will make them by request. Last week, 
I sort of sneakily introduced these one shot card holders. And we've had a couple special requests to have them made. And I made this uh, Color 8 Marbled uh, by a special order here in the shop today, actually. And I'm a huge fan of this Color 8 Marbled. You can fit six cards in here. I don't suggest to put more than six because it makes it a little bit difficult to get the cards in and out of once you hit a certain point of cards. You could put 10 cards in here and really stretch out the leather and sort of break in to fit those 10 a little more easily. But I just find it very cumbersome to use with 10 cards in it. But yeah, check out this really great looking piece of Color 8 marbled shell. Here's another one shot card holder. This one is in the classic Color 8 shell cordovan. Now here's the reverse Color 8. Very much uh, reminiscent of the Color 8 itself. So the dye starts to migrate around in the water and when the leather gets dipped into that barrel it stains the unintended side of the shell i happen to think it looks really really cool i had one more one shot to show you today this is in the color four shell cordovan for about a decade this is my favorite shell color in certain lights and certain angles it looks very similar to the color eight shell which is here but when you compare them next to each other you can really see that the color four is about half the darkness it's about half as dark as the color eight and is definitely a little bit more of a medium brown with reddish undertones. I like this color an awful lot. And moving on to some more stuff that's shipping out today. This is a Frank the Enforcer in an incredible piece of Color 8 marble shell. I've been really into the marble shells for a long time, but this marble shells that are coming out of the tannery recently are just extra special. Look at how the color changes. Uh, it's just a random texture and color that ranges from this light tan all the way to the classic color eight shell and everything in between. I like how you get a little bit of orange, a little bit of red, a little bit of brown, super neat. And on the back, I think I even like this piece even more. Just how random each of these are. I tend to like a dramatic contrast where it's really light and goes to immediately to a darker shade like this. But this one is really great on the back. It's sort of like a mild natural with like little hints of color eight in it. Very neat. So here's the first announcement of this. We're starting to make belts again, but it's sort of a similar story to watch straps where I'm unable to commit to a timeline of when your, your belt will be ready. But we do have a new belt going on. And the buckle here, we now have antique brass buckles that are a little bit more rectangular that I like very much. And we're doing these on a couple different leathers. I've got a tiny bit of English tan Dublin left, which is this color here, but I've also got natural chrome Excel and brown chrome Excel to show you. What's also new on these belts is not only are they, uh, the buckle has changed, but what we've also added here are different shaped holes on the whole section of the belt. They're now teardrop shaped. And what I like about this is this sort of the shape that the holes want to be after you insert the pin of the buckle and wear the belt and pull it tight multiple times, we're sort of pre breaking in the holes for you. And on top of that, I just think it makes it a little bit more unique and a little bit more special. The online belts that we do, we always seem to get compliments and it surprises me because it wasn't the intention, but we always get compliments on how comfortable the belts are. And I'm not sure if it's just because it's online or if that we're, we're using nice, veg leathers or combination tan leathers with a lot of veg in them. The people that are friends of mine that have worn these tell me that these belts don't dig into their bodies like a lot of other belts do, yet they're still firm enough to be substantial to hold your pants up. Uh, they just don't dig into your body. And I think that's something unique from the Horween leathers in particular. They're just not boardy and not too firm. They have this nice roundness to them. And like I mentioned, we have these belts available in a couple different colors. The English Tan Dublin here. We only have a couple pieces of English Tan Dublin available, but I do have a good amount of natural Chrome Excel, and we also have some brown Chrome Excel. So if you're interested in a belt, these are actually going out today for some special uh, pre-orders that we had. If you're interested in one of these, just send over an email to info at ashlandleather.com and they'll set you up over there. And I have two more items that are shipping out today. Both of these are in natural Lancaster. So I have the Giant of the Fox here and a Fat Herbie to show you. Let's go over the Giant of the Fox first. I'm really happy with how these have turned out. And it seems like many people have been picking these up 
over our sale on them for the last week or so. The natural Lancaster is a vegetable tan leather. So the more you wear it, the more you can expect the patina to develop on it. And I'm noticing that the patina develops very slowly on this. It's a slow burn, I like to say. The biggest thing that you'll start to notice first is how the luster starts to shine up. It starts to get a little bit more glassy, a little bit more bright and shiny. It almost starts to look like it has a little bit of wetness to it, like a nice sheen over the surface that just happens naturally. And the color doesn't change very dramatically or very quickly. The biggest things that I notice are the denim starting to rub off onto the spine of my wallet and in the corners of the wallet. It's also molding very nicely. Let me just pull it out actually, instead of talking about, let me show you. It's actually molding very nicely to everything I put inside. So right there you can see, maybe you can see the edges of where the cash is on the inside of the wallet, the edges here of where the cards are on the inside of the wallet. It's molding around there very nicely. And you might even get to see a little bit better look at the luster here, if I can, attempt to show you. It's very difficult for me to show luster on these lighter colors because the shine of the light is roughly the same color of the leather. So sometimes it's a little difficult for me to show, but I'm really enjoying my Fat Herbie. We've got a Fat Herbie in Natural Lancaster going out today, as well as the Johnny the Fox. So look forward for you guys to try these out. I really appreciate you guys supporting us. And here we go. I got a new package in the mail yesterday while I was recording our video uh, yesterday. And I just got off the phone with Wyatt from Grant Stone. Uh, it was actually kind of good that we were able to get in our conversation about his company before all this coronavirus lockdown happened. So I was talking to him about their business. It seems like it's a challenge, um, not only for them, but pretty much every business that I know. Um, so I gave him a call. I just wanted to check in and make sure they're doing all right. But he mentioned to me that the size I ordered in here, he'd be surprised if they fit. So let's go over this and see what's in here. I normally wear a nine and a half triple E from him, which is what my diesel boots are in. And they're fitting very nice. The forefoot on those, the triple E, I feel like I've got a little bit of extra room, which I like an awful lot. And he said that the 10 and a half single E that I bought in here, he's surprised if they'll fit because he said there's a big difference between the triple E and the single E. But either, either way, let's do a little unboxing here and see what's in the package. Okay, we've got another box in the box and it looks like there's a card trying to peek out. Let's see, I think there's just filler in the rest of the box here. Yeah, just a little bit of extra padding to keep everything secure in the box. Now this box seems different than the last one that I picked up. And I think he mentioned that this is a product they're trying to close out. So maybe this is an older box um, from their old stock. The, stiff, the boxes that they have now are more like a craft paper. Actually, let me grab that. So I don't know if this was a deliberate change, but this was the box I picked up or that they sent me from the last shipment, a little bit more minimalist. I like the handcrafted paper sort of look. And the new box here is more of a matte black. It's not super bright and shiny. I do really like the gold foil logo. I actually like their logo a lot too, but let's open up this guy and see what's inside. <laughs> and it looks like Wyatt let me, uh, let me know here. It says, uh, you need some shoe trees. And I think he sent some shoe trees in here as well. He said, hopefully this nine and a half E isn't too small. I saw we don't have any 10 E in stock, unfortunately. So it seems like the going from an E to a triple E is roughly the equivalent of a half size and change as well, which I was not aware of. Um, so I'd be curious to see how these fit. I did pay for these. So everybody knows that this isn't going to be an unbiased review of whatever I see. This is not something that they sent as a gift. I paid for these with my own money. So we've got a card here from Grant Stone. It's a nice pair of long wings on the front there. On the back, it says, initial fit, place your shoe boot on carpet or shoe bag. After lacing, look for the widest part of your foot to settle in the widest area of the shoe. Extra room in front of the toes is expected. Footwear that shows signs of wear cannot be exchanged or refunded. For any questions, doot, doot, doot. Join the Grant Stone family and shoo, share your Grant Stones, hashtag Grant Stone. Super cool idea. In fact, I should probably do something similar. 
So let's open up these. We've got the tissue paper, cloth bag. This seems to be the bottle opener uh, shoe, shoe horn in the back here. And indeed it is. Cool little shoe horn bottle opener. We've also got some extra laces in the bag. All right, so we've got a couple different shoes here. All right, I'm really excited to open these. And I can tell they're much heavier. I think it's maybe because there's shoe trees in there, but these feel very substantial at the moment. Dang. That already looks awesome. There we go. So these are natural Chrome Excel long wings that they had on sale for $1.99. And I felt like for that price, I couldn't not pick them up. And I've always wanted um, different long wings. I've got a couple different pairs of long wings. In fact, let me pull them out. I have an Allen Edmonds pair of Ridgeways here that I've had for since Dublin first came out. This is actually one of the first Dublin shoes ever, ever made. I've always liked the Dublin. I think these are almost 10 years old now. Um, but I always thought like this was too intense of the orange for me to pull off. It's just sort of not my style, although I will wear them because it's kind of fun. Um, but these are actually, interestingly, these are also a triple E with. These are nine and a half triple E. So I guess the triple E might be my size because these do fit me nicely. I've always really liked wingtips. These aren't long wings. Um, they're just sort of regular wingtips. But I have a different pair of Floorshime Imperials. There are long wings. I kind of like that perforated look. I think it's kind of fun and different. And I've always wanted more of a casual pair. So that's why I picked up these. And gosh, they're heavy. <laughs> I think it's the shoe trees in here. Yeah, that helps a lot. So without the shoe trees, they're much more of a reasonable weight. Uh, but these are really great looking. Let's do like a quick inspection here to see if I can nitpick anything. I'm having a feeling... I won't be able to, just at first glance here, everything looks beautiful. I mean, this shoe is flawless. It's beautiful color. All the details uh, seem absolutely perfect. The pair of boots that I'm wearing right now, the diesel boots, that when I first received them, I noticed a little bit, bit of extra glue underneath certain pattern pieces on the shoe. This one doesn't seem to have any of that. It's absolutely flawless. I really like this little hand stitch detail that they add on the sides here below the laces. I think that's a really cool look. Great looking shoe. Let's look at the other one. So this one has like a little tiny bit of glue that's like almost impossible to see right here between these two pattern pieces. That doesn't bother me at all. Um, that must be a real challenge for shoemakers is attaching these pieces uh, to hold them in place before sewing. I think that's what this glue is about. Um, again, like that's not it's so hard to see. You have to like be right up on it. Um, so that doesn't really bother me. I think it's fair to point out little things like this. Uh, so if you are bothered by things like that, you know what you're getting into with this brand. Uh, but these are really great looking shoes here. So I'm really happy with the way that these look. So the next thing for me to figure out is going to be is do they fit? And I'm a little more concerned. I thought they would be fine. Cause I do feel like I have a little bit of extra room in my diesel boots being the nine and a half triple E these are nine and a half E. So I'm a little worried after Wyatt's comments and the note that he left me here. I'm a little worried that they might not fit So more to come on that in the next video, but thank you guys for checking everything out today, including these natural Chrome Excel wing tips from Grant stone. I'm really excited about how these look. I uh, really appreciate you guys supporting us at Ashland. We're trying to keep it exciting here at Ashland and doing these little discounts that I've been having on the irregular sale and the one-off sale. I've got a lot more stuff in mind to sort of keep it interesting. Um, keep the economy flowing. Keep you guys getting wallets, different things like that. So thanks again. I really, really appreciate it. 
until next time, I hope you guys have a good one.